Hey guys, Acura Amanda here. I wanted to give you guys an update on the City Commission meeting of West Palm Beach, which I attended yesterday, uh, December 12th, 2022. At the end of the meeting, after me and Palm Beach Free Press left the meeting, Mayor Keith James made a major announcement. So he said at the end of the commission meeting that he consulted with Chief Adderley, he is the chief of the police department, and they all unanimously agreed that they are going to now get the Palm Beach County State Attorney's Office involved as well as the Public Corruption Unit uh, for Palm Beach County, and they're requesting a third party evaluation slash investigation in regards to double dipping deputy thief Morris. So I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Mayor Keith James. Mayor, I think you're doing a fabulous, phenomenal job for the city of West Palm Beach and the people that you serve. I have never been more pleased with a mayor before um, other, than, other than you. I think you're doing a fabulous job. Thank you for doing this for the people. Uh, so a couple of comments that I would like to address. So in my opinion, and I believe that this is only fair since double dipping Deputy Thief Morris is going to be now under investigation, I believe that he should be treated like any other officer in his department. He should be on administrative leave. And I know you guys are going to argue with me about this, but with pay because other officers, when they're accused or investigated of wrongdoing, they're immediately placed on administrative leave with pay. So that's what I believe should happen next. So without further ado, I'm going to leave you a few clips from the city commission meeting. Guys, uh, thank you all for watching this whole process. We're not going nowhere and we're going to get results, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please enjoy this video. I'm deputy, double deputy, double dipping deputy chief morris told me on the street when he confronted me after uh, putting a records request for his personnel folder that he was brought to west palm uh, to solve crime and homicides right so today alone we've had another double shooting every single day in west palm we're having this issue guys west palm you deserve better Hope you guys are enjoying the holidays. I'm here to address some issues that need to be brought to light. Deputy Chief Moore started his degree in 1986. 20 years later, after with a deal made with a young man, multiple witnesses who witnessed this deal, and an IP address that was pulled during my investigation, Morris now has this degree. Moving on, I have a Christmas gift for you, Mayor James. Uh, that you are welcome to share with everybody on the commission. Um, it includes Morris's copies of his pay stubs um, from an employer um, labeled City Place Retail while he was uh, receiving uh, employed with the FDLE. So imagine that investigating cops while working beside them. So, must be nice. At the end of this investigation, thanks to the provisions under Giglio versus United States and Brady versus Maryland, uh, Deputy Chief Morris will not have the ability to testify under oath in any civil, criminal, or administrative procedures in Palm Beach County. I will leave you all with this before I go. Um, under official misconduct, Florida State Statute 838.022, subsection Z. Let's read that. Obstructing, delaying, or preventing the communication of information relating to the commission of a felony that directly involves or affects the government entity served by the public servant or public contractor. Thank you all. Thank you very much. And Lynch. Hello, Mayor and Commissioners. I have a quick presentation for you guys. So recently in the headlines, we've seen uh, Tampa Police Chief Mary O'Connor. She recently resigned from her position 
from the Chief of Police over in Tampa, Florida. And I'm going to show you the video that raised controversy. It was a drug attack or a commercial vehicle and attack on it. How's that police chief in Tampa? Oh, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm hoping that you're just letting us go to Tampa. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll say, uh, not sad. I've been familiar, so. So she immediately began to be investigated for flashing her badge and saying, hey, can you just let us go? Uh, do you know who I am? I'm the police chief of the Tampa Police Department. So she did the right thing. She resigned. Um, what she did is totally inexcusable, but she saved um, the city embarrassment and the taxpayers' money. And she did the right thing and resigned. Now let's take a look at Ego. Double dipping Deputy Chief Morris. I do not believe that he will do the same. And let's talk about this for a little bit. So let's look at a few points here that double dipping Deputy Chief Morris has brought up. Let's debunk the lies. He will tell you that he was the top dog at the FDLE. We all know that according to public records, he was labeled a special agent. He was at no means at the top of his game at the FDLE. We also know that his educational background is another lie. And he will tell you also that he was offered a job and incentives as well from a major developer. And some of those incentives that he's lying about is an apartment, a car, and $200,000 a year. That's another lie. Now let's debunk some more lies. So when he says that he was brought in uh, by Mayor Keith James, he was not brought in by Mayor Keith James. He was friended in. So that's another lie. And according to him and his audio, he confronted me on the street after obtaining or trying to obtain, putting a public records request in for his personnel file. He told me to my face that he was brought in to solve homicides. Let's face it, double dipping Deputy Chief Morris, have you ever solved one homicide in your entire career as a police officer? I don't believe so. Prove me otherwise if you have. And I want to reiterate this like I did in the council game. This by no means is a personal attack. This is an attack against professionalism. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, that's all the cards I have. Couple. Um, with respect to the uh, presentation that was just given with respect to Deputy Chief Morris, I just wanted uh, to let you know, I've instructed uh, uh, Police Chief Adderley uh, to uh, engage uh, the services of an independent agency to uh, investigate those allegations. Uh, so he has arranged for an independent investigation of the allegations to be conducted by the State Attorney's Corruption Unit. Uh, so there will be an investigation. We'll see what, what, what happens there.